I know there's gonna be some new people, so if you're new, uh, hi. I'm Sona, I'm an artist, and I make videos mainly revolving around the Roblox and gaming community, so feel free to subscribe if you want to. Also, while I was hacked, I made a new channel just in case I wouldn't get my account back or if I get hacked again somehow. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So feel free to, to go subscribe to that just in case something happens again. I'm not sure what I'm gonna post on that channel, but I'll probably post some fun stuff soon, I guess. I don't know. Okay, now back to the video. Hey guys, it's Sona, and if you couldn't tell by the title, yes, I was hacked and I just got my account back. Oh my god, this has literally been so insane. I know a lot of you are probably confused because I was only able to announce that I was hacked on my Twitter and my Discord and my Roblox. And I know that not everyone has Twitter and Discord since a pretty big portion of my audience is probably fairly young. So I know a lot of people are probably very confused right now. But yes, this is literally not a joke. I actually got hacked. You're probably wondering, Sona, how the heck did you get hacked? Well, it's a pretty long story, so buckle up, guys. I'm about to tell you how and why I got hacked and what was happening while I was hacked and all that great stuff. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna say, like, probably a week and a half ago or so, I was reached out on my business email for a sponsorship. Now, if you guys don't know what a sponsorship is, uh, when a YouTuber has a, has a decent following, there will be companies that reach out to them for sponsorships. They make an ad for those companies on their channel and they just advertise advertise whatever they want them to advertise and they pay you for it. And this sponsorship was the first sponsorship that has ever been offered to me. So I didn't know really anything about sponsorships. Of course, since making money on YouTube has been hard lately, I was very excited for my first sponsorship and I read the email and it said this. Welcome to the world of Mortito. We are a young game development studio. Since 2019, we have been developing many projects and one of them has been released on Steam. Our game Mortito already amazes many people, but we need fans. We are ready to purchase ads on your channel. So if you are interested in our offer, just let us know. Sincerely, Big Game Studio Team. Okay, so first off, like, I've never heard of this company before, and I'm sure neither of you have either. Like, they claim to be a small company, quote unquote, but like, they're probably fake. I have no idea. Like, I'm not gonna say much, but all I know is that whatever company or person sent me this email had no good intentions. I responded to them telling Telling them that I would look forward to working to them and I wanted to know more about the game, etc. Now, the next stuff they sent me is probably going to seem very confusing. Uh, I'm pretty sure English wasn't their first language, which was probably a huge contributor to this being really hard to read or understand in general. So the next thing that they replied was, cooperation with us is a very simple thing. The most important condition is a real interest in the game and not just recording of the gameplay with a voice. We will send you a sample scenario with these is, whatever that means give the game. You only have to play the game and you will not notice how you start to say how good this game is. And I don't really know what that means. Like, I scratched my head reading that. I had no idea what that meant, but I just brushed it off. This is not a joke. This game is really very interesting. Let me know where it is more convenient for you to continue the dialogue. Discord, Skype, WhatsApp? Okay, I'm just gonna say right now, I should have seen this as a red flag when I first read this because the way they worded this made no sense. They were talking about how interesting the game was, yet they didn't tell me a single detail about the game besides its name. So me and my boyfriend decided to do some research on the company and the game because obviously we wanted to know more about it and we wanted to see if it was fishy, if it was safe or stuff like that. And we went onto the website and it looked like a legitimate thing. Like they had a thing for the game, like a trailer, they had a website. It looked legit. Like it looked really real and convincing. So we thought that it was okay. Gabe even looked it up on YouTube and there's even some let's plays of the early access or whatever you call it. So again, we were pretty convinced that this was fine. Another red flag that I should have noticed is that she asked to uh, communicate on Discord, um, which was really weird because I didn't know that, you know, companies would communicate about professional stuff on Discord, but apparently this person does. But again, at the time, I didn't see it as a red flag and instead I saw it as very convenient considering the main place I talk on is Discord. So we both added each other on Discord and their name was really weird. 
I'm not gonna give their tag because I don't want anyone trying to look for them or like harass them or anything like that, but they named themselves Holly Manager with a picture that looks like it is clearly stolen from Google. But again, I just gave them the benefit of the doubt and I really shouldn't have. Like, this looks so fake. Me and Gabe even joked about how fake it looked, but we just brushed it off. But what I should have found a bit fishy is that literally one of the first things that she asked me is, have you ever done a sponsorship before and do you know how this works? And I was like, no, this is my first time being sponsored by anyone. And what's really hilarious is literally her reply was, well then, your first experience will be the most interesting. The most interesting. <laughs> Oh yeah, Holly Manager, my, my first experience was indeed very interesting for very obvious reasons. So we talked about how the sponsor would go for a bit and it seemed pretty normal. We talked about the price and she actually offered a really crazy amount of money and I I didn't see it coming. Like I, I just thought that it was normal for my statistics and how my channel has been doing lately. So I didn't think it was completely too good to be true. And after I saw how much she offered, I I got extremely happy because what she offered was more than I make in like two months. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this sponsor. Bad idea. So she was like, okay, cool. We're gonna give you early access to the game because it has not yet been finished yet. And I was like, okay, cool. And here comes the part that I regret so, so bad and I should not have fell for this. This is the part where it goes wrong really, really fast. So she sent me a link for quote-unquote early access of the game. So I clicked on it and it brought me to this downloadable file for early access of the game. Again, I didn't know how to tell if a file was bad or not and I had my boyfriend look into it a little bit with me and since we've never had any experience in this and we didn't know any better, we thought that it was fine, which was a huge mistake. So having no idea what was about to happen to my channel, I downloaded the file for quote unquote early access of the game and then we extracted all the stuff that we needed to to make it into an application so that we could play the game and then when we went to open the game it didn't open. My boyfriend tried several times to open the file and just uninstalled it and reinstalled it again and it just wouldn't open. So I told the Holly girl that sent me the link and she was like oh Oh, okay. Well, we will try to fix it. So she sent me another link a little bit later and she claims that it was fixed. So we downloaded that and still the exact same thing happened. So me and my boyfriend were getting pretty worried and suspicious. So we asked her um, why it wasn't working. We told her that it still wasn't working and she just said, oh, okay, well, we can't figure it out. So we're just going to have Steam help you with the rest of the process and we will automatically pay half of of the payment without you having to do an advertisement. And I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense, what? I was like, okay, so you're telling me that just because your game file isn't working, instead of just canceling the sponsorship, you are going to have Steam fix it for me. And therefore you are going to automatically give me half of the payment without me even having to advertise. And she said, yes. And I was like, uh, okay. And since we wanted the full payment, we still, we asked if we could still do the advertisement and get the other half of the payment and this should have been a red flag but Holly said yeah if you still want to what the heck kind of response is that if you still want to like what Th like I should have seen this coming this made literally no sense but again I was just I was just so naive like I didn't know what I was doing I thought it was fine so she told me that Steam would be in contact with me tomorrow in order to help me fix the file so I was like okay cool Cool. Next day comes, literally, Steam doesn't say anything to me, they don't reach out to me, I get nothing. It comes to the end of the day, and this is where the nightmare fuel comes. So me and my boyfriend heard nothing from Steam, we just brushed it off and we thought that they would just contact us the next day instead. So we were about to go to bed, it was nighttime. Um, this was around 11 o'clock, we got into bed and we were about to go to sleep. I decided to go on my phone real quick to watch a little bit of YouTube before I decided to go to sleep. and. And that's when I realized I was not able to log into my YouTube account. When I went to log into my account, it said that the password was changed less than an hour ago. And 
obviously, I didn't change my password. I, I didn't do that. So naturally, I got pretty worried and I immediately called my boyfriend and I told him about what happened and he seemed pretty concerned too. So we hung up and he investigated for a little bit and then he called me back and that's when I got the devastating news that I was hacked. The hackers had changed my password, they changed my phone number, they changed my backup email, and they even placed a security code. They basically changed everything everything so that there was no way that I could get back into my account. My boyfriend and I knew it was them because when he went to check the backup email, it said Big Games was the backup email and that was the name of the company. When we found out, we were freaking out really bad and I was panicking so much and I immediately hopped onto Twitter and I made this post. If you want, you guys can pause it and read it. I know many of you have seen this already, so I'm not gonna bother. But yeah, needless to say, we were freaking out really bad. You know, I was terrified. I had no idea what they planned on doing with my account. And keep in mind, this was like late at night. This was around 11 o'clock. We were about to go to sleep. So there wasn't a whole lot that we could do. I also made an announcement on Discord warning everyone. And I really, really wanted to make an announcement on YouTube to warn my fans just in case the hackers posted any scam links or anything like that. But as I said, I had no access to my YouTube account. So I was unable to warn anyone. And it was, it was awful. I felt horrified because I couldn't warn my fans. I tagged Team YouTube in the Twitter post. And aside from that, there wasn't really that much much that I could do. It became around two in the morning and I was still super paranoid and scared, obviously, but I didn't really have much of an option. So I tried my best to go back to sleep with my boyfriend. The next morning I went on my account and I immediately checked to see if anything had happened to my channel. Surprisingly, nothing did. YouTube saw my post and reached out to me on Twitter. And to be honest, not a whole lot was done. The replies were very slow and whatever they sent me to try to cover my account, it didn't work. So I had to wait for the past few days I made many posts and I was trying to spread awareness and a lot of other people were spreading awareness too. For the next few days while I was waiting, I was extremely depressed. I became very unmotivated and miserable because my YouTube channel was my passion and that was just ripped right away from me and it felt terrible. I cried a lot and I just felt extremely unhappy and I just didn't know what to do. I felt lost and I felt alone and I can say without a doubt that it was one of the most stressful, depressing, and anxiety inducing things that I have gone through in a very long time and the only thing I can really do is make vent drawings to cope with how depressed I felt. While the process was still very slow, I kept contacting contact with YouTube for a few days and luckily a lot of people were talking about it and spreading awareness about it on Twitter. The whole situation was seriously taking a toll on my mental health so I announced that I was going to be taking a break from Twitter but that break did not last for long because on the same day that I took a break at nine o'clock something absolutely terrifying happened. I was just talking with my sister after I ate dinner and then I went to check on my YouTube account and they changed the profile picture and privated all of my videos. I immediately freaked out and I went on Twitter and I created a post telling people about what happened and to not trust anything that I posted on YouTube because it was going to be a scam. I called my boyfriend and literally only like a few minutes after I made that post, they started live streaming on my channel. I have no idea what it was. It was some kind of Elon Musk Bitcoin scam thing that's been going around apparently. I don't even know who Elon Musk is, but yeah, they started streaming that scam on my channel and I was horrified. It was literally one of the most scary things that I had ever experienced. I literally started having like an anxiety attack because I couldn't do anything and they were just streaming and trying to scam my fans and I, I just panicked so much. Like I can't even explain to you how scared I was. I started crying and hyperventilating and I, I just, I literally couldn't calm down. A lot of people were DMing me on Discord and Twitter asking me what was going on and freaking out and it was literally insane. <sighs> Luckily, the live stream wasn't up for that long and it was soon taken down by YouTube along with my channel being completely terminated. And real quick, I just wanted to say why the heck would they do that kind of scam? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy they didn't do a more effective scam or anything like that, but literally, what makes them think my audience of kids who play Roblox is going to fall for some kind of Bitcoin scam? They probably don't even have Bitcoin. I was freaking out, so I reached out to Albert on Discord and he didn't even have to, but he literally made a 
post um, about me like getting hacked and like the whole live stream and stuff and he tweeted at YouTube and a ton of people saw it and I just want to say Albert thank you so much for doing that like that spreads so much awareness a crap ton of other Roblox YouTubers and just random people in the Roblox community also started messaging me as well on Twitter asking me if I was okay asking me what happened you know everyone was supporting me and it felt amazing Minitoon also made a post about it Chloe Games made videos on it Kaneko Kitten even made a video on it so needless to say I got a crap ton of support from like the entire Roblox community basically so many people were retweeting uh, my posts and spreading awareness about it and like I just want to say thank you guys so much for doing that so yeah thank you guys so much for the support like losing my channel was so hard on me it took a serious toll on my mental health but all of the support that I got made me feel so much better and it made this situation so much more bearable for me so seriously thank you so much guys after my YouTube account was terminated because obviously a scam was live streamed on it I reached out to YouTube and email and they were like yeah we know what happened and like we tried to go through a process of trying to verify that it was me because like I said the hacker had changed literally everything on my account so it was very hard to verify that it was me because they changed like all of the information I did the best I could though I provided them with screenshots and all of that stuff and all the possible proof all the possible proof that I could provide them with fun fact after my channel was terminated the person who hacked me actually deleted all of their discord conversation with me to try to cover up uh, all of the stuff that they did but guess what I got screenshots beforehand so I showed that to the team YouTube and stuff and I just did everything that I possibly could a youtuber called MV Perry who recently got hacked for the same reason that I did who recovered his channel actually reached out to me which was very kind of him by the way because like he wasn't even really in the Roblox community and he didn't need to do that but he still reached out to me and he told me that he would answer any questions that I needed him to answer which was very nice of him and he said that it took um, approximately three weeks to get his account back so I was expecting to have to wait at least two weeks to get mine back or even longer but you guys will literally not believe this actually yes you will because I'm making this video but literally I got my Google account back for my channel a day after my channel was terminated. I am not joking. This is real. I got this back a day after it was terminated. I was in complete shock because previously, like not even that long before that, um, while I was trying to verify it was me, it was really seeming like I wasn't able to verify myself, but they randomly gave me my account back and I was just, I was so shocked that I got it back so soon, but I was obviously really happy about it. So I reset my password to my account. I changed everything that the hacker had changed and oh my god, logging back into my account, I cannot even begin to describe how relieving and amazing that made me feel. And I'm almost positive the reason that I got it back so soon was because of all the awareness that you guys have been spreading. Like if it weren't for all of this that you guys have done for me, like spreading awareness and stuff, I'm not sure how long it would have taken for me to get my account back. You know, most YouTubers would probably have to wait weeks or even months, but I had to wait a day after it got terminated so I'm just so thankful for that like thank you so much guys you made this happen I also want to give a huge thanks to my boyfriend like he was having a hard time during this too because obviously I was really depressed I'm sure I was very hard to deal with but he supported me the best that he could and like I love him so much please send him love I'll link his channel down in the description of this video but yeah without him it would have been so much worse to go through fun fact there was people who actually thought that I was doing this as a publicity stunt and I just want to say right now no I wasn't bro this was a hundred percent real like I don't know how I would live stream some kind of fake Bitcoin scam I don't even know who Elon Musk is okay and I've never used Bitcoin in my life and I don't plan to anytime soon and anyone who fakes being hacked for publicity is a piece of poop and if you do that stop <laughs> and if the hacker just so happens to be watching this video uh I'm gonna try to make this sound as kid friendly as possible you are a complete jerk and you have no life and i hope that you have a terrible day like surely the hacker must be a failure in life if they're so desperate for money that they have to take people's success away who actually have worked to be where they are like you're such a low life get a job dude but yeah um moral of the story take your security very seriously because i clearly did not take it as serious as i should have i shouldn't have clicked on any links or downloaded any 
many files that were sent to me. Never do that, guys. You will regret it so bad. I regret what I did so bad, and I learned a massive lesson from this. Do not trust everything that you see online, because it could be very dangerous. Just secure your stuff as much as possible, have two-step verification, uh, get a Titan key for your account. I'm actually doing that because some people reached out to me and told me that a Titan key is a really good way to go if you don't want hackers to get into your account, and I just ordered one, so please do that if you are able to. If you ever get a sponsorship from a company that you don't know and it looks kind of fishy, please research it, and if it looks like it's not good or if they ask you to download or click on anything, don't. Just be as careful as you can. Uh, it may take a little bit for me to get my motivation back when it comes to making videos because this really mentally drained me a lot and just like affected me really bad. It took a huge toll on my mental health. So my upload schedule might be a tiny bit bumpy, but I'm gonna try my best to get videos out again. Again, like thank you guys so much for the support. I love you all so much and I am so happy and grateful to have what I have. And with that, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye!